بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس دس سیشن از اباؤٹ ریجنل ڈائلیکٹس آئی ہوپ اینڈ ایکسپیکٹ بائی دا اینڈ آف دس سیشن یو ول ہیو این انڈرسٹینڈنگ آف واٹ ڈز دا ٹرم مین اینڈ واٹ آر دا کنفیوژنس اور ایمبیگوٹیز ریلیٹڈ ٹو دا ٹرم ویل مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ایٹ دا آؤٹ سیٹ وی نیڈ ٹو تھنک اباؤٹ ہاؤ کلیئر آر دا ورائٹیز how clearly the varieties are differentiated or how clear are the boundaries between the varieties we also need to think about the hierarchical model, model of family tree i hope and assume that you know what a family tree model is which implies that the boundaries between varieties are clearly drawn you know on a fa- family tree every variety is shown you know linked to this tree through a nod and it is clearly segregated from the other variety but we need to think about the real life situation is it so well coming to the idea of regional dialects if we consider the most straightforward variety differences based on geography these can be called regional dialects and it should be possible if the family tree uh, model is right to identify what we may call regional dialects you know then this division has to be clear cut uh, in this particular region lang- this language is used and if this is called region a language a region b language b region c language c and through the the family tree model they are connected at a nod with you know um a standard variety for example but is it actually so that region a language a and region b language b actually the boundaries are blurred there would be a lot of gray area where you know um, both the varieties would mix up and where the identities of people of uh, speakers of variety a and speakers or users of variety b would also you know be amalgamated well my dear students actually since the 19th century dialectologists the the people who study dialects um these dialectologists in europe and the united states they have been studying geographical distribution of different linguistic items so for example they have um, conducted studies on different um, pairs of words that are synonymous to each other for example how in one variety the word pail is used how in another variety the word bucket is used um, for the same item or different pronunciations for example how um, a word like farm you know is produced um, differently in two different you know varieties where in one it is produced as farm where r is pronounced where in another r is omitted and the results that that they have found and that they have plotted on a map they show which items were found in which village now at this time point i would like to to clarify dialectologists mostly work in and through the history we see they have worked in villages the um, studies of dialects um, if we find that are all rural based why because they wanted to avoid any of the complications of the um, the town life so these dialect geographers may then draw a line between the area where one item is found and where another item is found you know and they would thus draw a line and they would um use to 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 show that this is a boundary uh, for a particular area the, and they would name it this area as an isoglass gloss what is an isoglass again it is a greek term taken from greek the word iso which means same and gloss means tongue so isoglass technically is an area where people speak the same tongue but you know if you are collecting these lists of items that are being used by different people in you know um different communities uh, where two different varieties are being used what about those gray areas where all that mixes up at the boundaries the family tree model allows a very important prediction to be made regarding isoglosses namely that they should not intersect now this is also a problem with the family tree model because the family tree model you know as it is created um it links different languages in relation to each other through you know different nodes but um you know um it 
it maintains or it asserts that the isoglosses are completely separate. They cannot intersect. They cannot, you know, overlap. They cannot intermingle. Distinctions can add further subdivisions within a variety, but they cannot subdivide two varieties at the same time because a tree diagram can show subclassifications but not cross uh, classifications. So, you know, the idea of regional dialects in itself is a very significant idea, yet it has its own ambiguities because how a particular regional dialect would be differentiated from the other regional direct dialect in terms of, you know, drawing boundaries to separate these two regions. And how would the idea of the gray areas or the blurred boundaries would be dealt with?